Russ, some Toxic Avenger remake news, but for those of you out there, don't forget to subscribe. Just maybe. The Toxic Avenger will be there. So in the news, Russ, Kevin Bacon has been announced to be the villain in the Toxic Avenger remake. Kevin Bacon, as you know, is a treasure, and we've talked about him at great length several times. Uh, he's had a long and storied career, and we're big fans of him here at the show. And I actually thought that was such an out of left field choice for him to be in the Toxic Avenger remake. Wow, I was thinking the very same thing. I'm not familiar with Toxic Avenger whatsoever. Russ, I know you're a big fan. I'd love to know your thoughts, not only on this announcement, but Kevin Bacon as a villain against the Toxic Avenger? That's actually one reason why I am a fan of Kevin Bacon. I feel like, anything? and I feel like he's underrated. I feel like people don't give him his roses and how varied he is. First off, let me say, I do not want to see the Toxic Avenger remade in any way, shape, or form. That's a win for this film because you are getting Kevin Bacon. I'm not watching regardless. The villain in Toxic Avenger is the mayor of Tromaville, and he is a big <laughs> man. Mm. We gotta cover this up. If it ever gets out to the press, we're sunk. Anyone who's familiar, the finale of the film uh, features Toxie punching him straight through his stomach and literally ripping his guts out. Nice. Yes, in, in very grotesque, funny fashion. I wonder if they're going to put Kevin through, you know, a I, lot of makeup, prosthetics, well, turn him into it. this person. I mean, well, this remake has been in production for years now. Do you know who was attached to be the villain for a long time? I have no idea. Mr. John Travolta. Wow. So, wow. And actually, I could picture Travolta doing it, especially with his yes. stellar direct-to-video work. The fact that Kevin Bacon has signed up for this. But what does that say about this remake that Kevin Bacon is willing to sign up for it? Now, when you're saying originally it was supposed to be John Travolta, this makes me feel like they were going for some, you know, schlocky... Toxic whatever. Avenger is schlocky. This guy, if you can't take a joke, he stinks. Toxic Avenger's yeah. comedy. So they got to bring it back to those roots with someone like John Travolta who would probably just chew through all that scenery yeah. and do his John Travolta thing. But Kevin Bacon, is he going to come and be a goofball? Look, if they try to make Toxic... If they try to make it like the MCU or something... They're going to piss off everyone. Yeah. Toxic Avenger is a comedy. And Kevin Bacon, understand. I've seen him understand it in yeah. similar work. I still won't be watching it, but no. hey, that's good for them. Even though someone like his, of his caliber is stepping out and saying, I want to put my name on this because I believe in it. Is this love? Or do you think it's just kind of there's going to be fan love and it doesn't matter. And he just wants to do something trashy. I don't know his reasons. But <laughs> Do you know Kevin Bacon? Have you uh, spoken to him on these matters? Or My last Bacon Brothers concert, he did not answer this question for me. <laughs> Elijah Wood, also in the Toxic Avenger remake. Now I am totally out. What are you doing to me? What is with Elijah Wood in horror? He produced Mandy, which was a fucking train wreck. Didn't he do the Maniac thing, or he's trying to he do was, a Maniac he remake? He was in it already. And you know what? I feel well, I feel comfortable talking shit on Elijah Wood. Who the fuck are you, Elijah Wood? All you're doing is remaking fucking classic cult horror films and stuff. Like, we get it. You're a fan. You're probably a cool dude. You should probably edit all this out. He yeah, showed up randomly, I thought, in Sin City. I thought yeah, that he... Bravo. He it, wore a pair of glasses. It was kind cool. of an odd... Well, yeah. I mean, the, it was an interesting casting choice for him, but I thought he fit it well. And then he was in a couple of... Yeah, it was great. You know, he didn't talk and he wore glasses. Well, great. He's fucking De Niro, you know? He adds nothing to nothing. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> the writer and director of this film is a guy named Macon Blair. How do I know that name? Right. So he was in... He was the main star of Blue Ruin. He was also in Green Room. He's a writing partner of Jeremy Saulnier. I think that's how you say his name, who wrote and directed both of those films. So there might be a little bit of nuance and care to these films. These guys sort of get the niche indie uh, genre. Maybe this look, is something for them. Maybe this is, not. This is the same argument all of us film fans make every time. And I'm, okay. not, I'm not taking the bait anymore. No, they get no benefit <laughs> of the doubt from me. So the only other information about this is that Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Herz of mm. Troma. They're coming back as producers, but mm. there really isn't any... I mean, so again, there's maybe a little bit of... You don't know anything about no. Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Herz. They don't though. care. They satirize themselves. They are all. They would do this in a heartbeat, dude. They, they have no problem doing They're like, this. give me more money. 
they don't care or yeah yeah what about all the not, sequels? Not don't, care, not don't care in a bad way like they're sellouts they just literally are those kind of, they're they're true spirited independent filmmakers where it's like I don't care. I did it. You go ahead and do it. Let's support this. Like we need yeah. money to continue making what we do. Gotcha. That's their biggest uh, toxie is their bread and butter. Well, so far a couple of A-list actors, including our very own Kevin Bacon, mm-hmm. they're going to be joining, and we're looking think... forward to seeing a trailer. Maybe when that comes out, we can talk about it again and see if it's sort of hitting those notes for you that you're worried about. It won't. There's no way this movie, the movies aren't even, even independent movies aren't made like that anymore. And is there a big collection of these? I know there's sequels and cartoons and all kinds of stuff. Is there a, is there a trauma collection or is it a Toxic yeah, Avenger collection? What do they got? There are, to my knowledge, four Toxic Avenger movies mm-hmm. and two and three both take place in Japan. They were filmed back to back. Lloyd just basically made two movies out of one. Nice. Because <laughs> that's how they roll. That's how he did it. Uh, Citizen Toxie Part 4 was made years later. Mm-hmm. And it's... It's act, it's better than two and three. Troma is actually referred to it as the official sequel to the Toxic Avenger. Mm-hmm. But as a real fan, you got to acknowledge at some point we don't want to see it, re- especially these types of movies. They exist for two reasons: one, to make good money on opening weekend and be instantly forgettable, which who the fuck is even going to movie theaters nowadays? And two, for people like me to spend my money on it to watch and bitch about it because it's not the original. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Check it out.